The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 22nd, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, well, is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that. And that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Would love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question, but you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Now, if you're inside our Tiger Den, well, then any and every ping will do so let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific tuesday of course this is tiger financial news network i'm steve rhodes welcome to the show we got a mixed bag that mix goes like this the dow is off 131 points the s p well it just went flat out there you've got the nasdaq 100 that is up um, 43 points the semis are up two points the russell's off three the trannies are down 50 uh, you've got gold up three bucks, silver up 13 pennies, lights be crude off 18 cents, natural gas off a nickel, and the 30 year treasury is up 11 ticks. But we're going to go out to Newport Beach, California, and speak with Garo. Garo, thanks for holding. Thanks for calling. How are you this morning? I'm very good. How about you, sir? I am doing well, better now that I hear your voice. And uh, you've got a new you've got a new instrument. I, I do mean that, by the way. That is, <laughs> um, I, you've got a new instrument that we're going to take a look at. The ticker symbol is NY. Oh, was that the New York Stock Exchange or is NYSZ as in zebra? It's a, it's a symbol NYSZ, Mary Yellow Sam Zebra. Got it. Okay, so give me a second here. So first, I'll put it up on Mary Yellow Sam Zebra. Let me get that up on my Garo specific chart. So those will populate here. And wow. Okay. So $2 stock out here. Give me a second, to, if you will, Garo. I'm going to go put this up on my other screen yes, as yes. well. Yes, yes. And then, well, I'll tell you, why don't you fire it? So how can I help you with this while I'm getting things set up on my other system? Okay. <clears throat> this one, I bought it on, I bought it $1.18 on uh, August the 14th, which was. Okay. Uh, on, on Monday, I bought 5,000 shares, and uh, I, start, I and I went up with with the stock, non, um, without selling it uh, until yesterday. If you see okay. yesterday, uh, on uh, I sold it at two dollars and forty cents, uh, okay. uh, which was on the top of the April of uh, this year. Mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. was yeah. So I sold them and I got out of it. Today uh, it went up all the way to two seventy four. And now it's backing up. Uh, the uh, 60 minute about uh, the, this last candle, uh, the 60 minute went uh, down. It, it crossed that five day simple moving average. It hit the bottom dot of the star, I see that. and the star went up. Uh, so uh, the 120 and 120 minute to, and 240 minute, both of them are bull at this time. And 60 minutes was bull too today, but about a one candle, previous candle, uh, it now became bear. Now, uh, to me, to me, the way that I'm looking at it, uh, this is going to go down to dollar ninety, which is the 21-day simple moving average of the mm -hmm. 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And if it holds there and rolls up, fine. If it doesn't roll up there, it's going to go to 50 day, which is going to be dollar fifty three. Now, um, I don't know. Nobody knows what's going to happen, but this is the way sure. it looks like to me. Uh, sure. Do you think this is going to hold here and roll up tomorrow? Uh, or this is gonna, this is gonna go, uh, the, the, or the party is, is over. It's gonna go back to dollar fifty something, and then dollar thirty, and dollar twenty, and and it's gonna stay there for as long as it's stay. Okay. So one is that, sir. Yeah, I'm not finished. <laughs> no, the no. other one, if you have the time, if you don't, you don't. Uh, we'll make the, the time. Square SQ, uh, yep. which is the uh, block. Uh, the, uh, the day before yesterday went down to 54 and change. Uh, I bought uh, only 300 shares at $55. I okay. want to know, should I hold it or should I get out? If you have okay. the time. If not, no. just, just, but uh, I wanted that answer on that, uh, that NYSC, please. And Absolutely. I don't talk any longer. Uh, no, that's okay. You're welcome to talk all all that you want. Now I have the uh, so let's go first to the uh, my size Inc uh, charts out here, and specifically the 60 minute time frame chart. And your question is, will this hold? And the answer is, well, it's going to be revealed to us pretty soon. It should hold is my answer. The reason that it should hold, at least at this stage, while looking at this black background chart, is that price is pulled back. Now, I showed already touching the 21-day simple moving average, which I had at 216. But that's not the reason why it would hold. The reason why it would hold is on a 60-minute basis, this has a bullish structured 60-minute profile. What that tells us right now, Garo, is that buyers are lined up in between the 220 and 223 level. If this closes on a 60 minute basis above 223 for two consecutive bars, then that would signal to you and I that price should make its way back to 274. That's all that that tells us on this 60 minute time frame chart that we're looking at. Before I switch panels and we take a look at those white background charts, is there any question about the 60 minute time frame chart and the reasons why I shared with you what I did or, or the reason why I say it should hold at least? No, it's fine. I wrote that number down. And I'm going to wait because I'm going to go back again and buy it for another another five six thousand shares, and I'm going to wait. So I wrote that two twenty three and see what's going to happen for today and tomorrow. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So that's the first thing. Now we're going to go ahead and switch charts here, and we'll go over to my white background chart. See if there's any additional information that we can glean, and certainly I can pull over some intraday charts on a daily time frame, though. To answer your question, I don't have any, well, the only reason, so the resistance level that I have, so what it was doing yesterday and, and again today was was taking on that 239 area, that 239 uh, from back in April, I believe you had mentioned that, turned out that that was a TD9 count breakdown resistance level. If price were to close above $2.39, that would be signaling to me that price wants to move higher. Now, it's only Tuesday. And so we don't know what it's going to look like on Friday. But at the moment, on a weekly basis, what my size Inc. is doing is taking on the resistance level at 206. 206 is the top of the weekly profile. If price can overcome that, that's going to suggest a further rally. So the two levels to be watching here, and I know I've given you a couple. One is 226. That's the center of its 60-minute day up profile. Another is 206. That's a Friday number to be looking at. And 239 would be something to be looking at on a daily time frame. Girl, we're going to a break. When we come back from this break, we'll finish looking at my size as well as Square. For Garo in Newport yeah, yeah. Beach, California. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol MYSZ. This is for Garo in Newport Beach, California. Garo, when I look at the 15-minute uh, time frame chart out here, I've got one of my Rhodes Momentum uh, topping patterns that is in place. And price right now is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. My screen shows 217. I know that it's trading at 222. So I've got a little bit of a delay here. But what price is likely to do here is go test the 207 uh, area. So I'd look for 207 to hold. If that fails, that tells us that this is going to continue to move lower. Now, we've had, in essence, four. Today could be the fifth day um, of consecutive moves higher. So it's due for a two-day correction out there. So the levels to be watching on the 60-minute time frame, one of the time frames that you pay attention to, watch $2.20 to the downside. A close below, that's going to suggest lower price. That was a 60-minute bullish profile out there. And I'd be watching a 207 as well. If that level fails on a 15 minute basis, then we're looking at a buck 85 as the uh, likely uh, price target. So any any further any other any questions, any additional information I can provide to you for my size, MISC, before we go on and take a look at Square. No, sir. Two, uh, 15 minute uh, 207. Uh, my chart is uh, the 50 day simple moving average. I can Perfect. see that anything that goes below 50 day. 50 day to me is very crucial, very, very okay. crucial. If something okay. goes below 50 day, it goes in the have a nice day zone, you know? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I got it. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, have a nice day, yeah. Very uh, good, yeah, uh, everything uh, matches uh, here. But one, okay. one last question on, on my size. If it goes higher and it does all the work you promised to do, at yeah. what price at highest you think this can go? Mm. So then, so good question there. If you take out 239, you close above 239, odds would favor it makes its way all the way back to $8.38. Now, $8.38 okay. $8 is a real key level of resistance. It had already been tested, and it was tested back in December of uh, 2022. And I'm going to just expand out my charts out here just to make it a little bit easier. I don't know how much easier, but a little bit easier to take a look at. Let me see if I can move this back just a bit. Do this here. There we go. So uh, even though you can't really see the 838 that clearly out here, uh, well, we can't see it formed a nice TD9 cow bottom price went up there. That was a resistance zone. It still is in effect out there. So 838 would be a price target level. 
Let me just look at a monthly chart, see if there's anything else here. There's really not. So at this stage of the game, I'd have to go with 838. Uh, and how I would preface this is you're in bar number seven of a TD9 count. So let's just say that this uh, goes on to make a TD9 count top in the next three trading sessions out there. Then that would be telling you and I or suggesting to you and I that it's ready for a maybe a see you later, you know, kind of a, 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 a for for a little while, at least for a couple of days out there. But we don't yes, have that yes. signal just yet. We just have price up at resistance. And, and I think at this stage here, you know what to look for. So let's go ahead and move on to Square out here. And with regard to Square specifically, I'm going to put up my multi time frame set of charts. So we've got 15, 30, 65, 130, 195 daily, weekly, and monthly. Slightly different than yours, I would assume, out here. But with regard to uh, if we take a look at the daily time frame chart here for Square, first I'll give you so I don't have a bottoming pattern. What I do have is a new profile level for you to at least be paying attention to. And that profile level, it just has a top and a bottom. Uh, oh, I take that back. It's got both a top, a center, and a bottom. So the bottom, which is real key level for you, is 55.68. If price closes below that, that would suggest to you and I that support has failed and price would likely move lower. If we take a look at the uh, resistance area, that's going to be up at 58.54 on any rally. If price were able to close above that, that would suggest to you and I that it's going to rally further. And the center is at 57.59. So I don't know that it's really coming into play that much as we speak right now. The next resistance level on a rally, other than the top of this new profile, and this is a profile that formed yesterday at 58.54, would be 60.24. And 6024 is the daily oscillator and change line. That is a level that price must close above to suggest that any rally would have any kind of legs out there. As I look to my other time frame charts, Garo, the one that sticks out at me, there's really two that stick out at me. One is a 65 minute time frame chart and the other is the 130. Both of those have TD9 count bottom patterns. The mm -hmm. both nice. of them right now. Both of them right now are trading within profiles. So they're trading in between where the buyers and sellers reside. On a 130 minute chart, that buyers are at 56 bucks. The sellers are at 57.68. On a 65 minute chart, the buyers are at 55.85. The sellers are at 57.24. They've already flexed their muscles today. But a real key level for Square, if this is going to make any kind of a turn and move to the upside, I would say that price needs to close above Either 5836, that would be the first level, and then the second level would be 5942. If we can take out both those levels, then that would suggest a move up to that $60 ish area out there. But I don't recall if I have answered your question, and I hate that. Uh, a senior okay. moment, a senior moment that I'm having. But if you tell me specifically the question you're asking for, if I haven't already answered it, I will definitely give that to you. So, what additional information can I provide you, Garo? No, sir. Everything was correct. I was okay. expecting 59 and change. That's how much I have. 59 okay. and change. Then the trend will change. Then Perfect. the trend is, is, is going to be upward. Perfect. Until then, everything is ifs and buts and all that uh, goodies. Yeah. I um, hear you. Uh, I hear you. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I like it when we can use two different systems and we come up with a similar number. I've got 59.42. You've got 59 and change. So that, as Tom would say, is a beautiful thing. So, Gar, yes, always sir. great to uh, speak to you. And I mean that sincerely <laughs> when I do say that. So I will look forward to our next conversation. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you a million. Thank you so uh, much for your time and listening to me. God you bless bet. you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. You bet. Bye -bye. You bet. God bless you. That was Garo in Newport Beach, California. So we have two minutes left in this segment here. Why don't we go take a look at... Um, well, I'm going to go take a look at the equity futures markets. Then we'll come back to the requests out there. We'll get to bonds. We've got several requests that are lined up. But let's just uh, let me just knock this out here, the daily equity future contract, see where we're at. So the one thing that's kind of interesting, if the Dow, Dow equity future contract that is goes on to make a, a lower low today, it'll trigger – trigger bar number eight of a TD9 count. Now at this stage here, it's too early to tell whether or not we're gonna get a TD9 count bottom or not in the Dow, but we should have a pretty good indication between today and Thursday of this week. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that. We do not have bottoming patterns in the other equity future contracts. I would really have to 
kind of violate basically almost every principle I have with regard to making A to B equal C D patterns to try to come up with that. You can go to intraday charts and do that, but on a daily time frame, yeah, I think you're I think we're I think we'd be too liberal. But what we can say out here is we've got those new profiles. Now the reason I wanted to go to this chart is on the ES mini, I want you to see the other profiles using the same data. Using the same data, it comes up with different numbers. It does that from time to time. So here I've got 43.69 as support. And resistance, because this is a bearish structure profile, it would be between 44.66 and 44.05. And In the case of the NQ, you've got basically the same profile with resistance being 15.179. The YM, the Dow, is something we really want to take a look at tomorrow and the next day out there. And inside the Russell 2000, you've got a new profile as well, uh, bottom of which, of which is 1850. The top is at 1888. Real quickly here, we've got just a few seconds. Let me see which charts are up here. The ES Mini. On an intraday basis, you've got on the 30-minute chart, price getting back and testing its breakout level of support, 44.750, and a TD9 count on the 15-minute time frame chart. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Attention traders and investors, are you ready to elevate your game in the stock market? On August 23rd, join Basil Chapman, the mastermind behind the renowned Chapman Wave methodology in a subscriber-exclusive 90-minute webinar. From 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern, dive deep into the secrets of the 914 moving average, decode market turns, and get a head start on the stock outlook for September and October. The golden opportunity is free for all opening call subscribers. And if you're not on board yet as a subscriber, here's the deal. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Zero risks, all rewards. So what are you waiting for? Visit the front page of TFNN.com now and secure your spot. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Let's get to our first question. This came in earlier this morning. This is uh, from uh, Mike W. Wanted to take a look at the 30-year Treasury. Specifically, he was asking on a daily time frame. Uh, oh, that's not. What the heck did I put up there? 
That was the wrong set of charts. That looks like the Magnificent Seven to me. But that's not what I intended to put up, but that's what's up. Let's take a look at the 30-year Treasury now. We're looking at the daily time frame chart. Let me go ahead and expand this out. His question is, is this going to form a TD9 count bottom? And today is going to become bar number nine of a TD9 count. And as long as price closes below the close of bar number five, 119 in 12, 30 seconds, you will get a confirmed TD9 count bottom. The pattern will complete tomorrow. This would then suggest a rally up towards its oscillator and change line. We can see that that oscillator and change line has really acted as resistance, 119 and change out there. So that's what price should do. If we take a look at the uh, weekly chart, you're going to also form a TD9 count bottom pattern this week. Now, again, the low can come in next week. The weekly chart, as well as the monthly chart, has triggered a road momentum indicator signal. Much like we can see on the five hour, the four hour, the two hour, even the one hour charts out there, they've got those road momentum indicator signals. You'd love to see a bullish reversal candle on a weekly to tell you that it's a significant bottom. But has it bottomed? I would have to say the answer is yes. The daily's got a TD9 count bottom. The intraday charts show road momentum indicator signal patterns as well. What price has been unable to do is take out resistance. On the hourly basis, you had a road momentum indicator bottom, went on to form a TD9 count top, price pulled back to its breakout level of support. Right now, you're consolidating with inside the profiles. Mike, I would say if price closes above its TD9 count top from a 16 minute time frame, that high out there is 118 and 1330 seconds. If price closes above that, you should then see that rally get up to the 119 and change level. That is the daily oscillator and change line. So, hope that helped answer your question and provided you with the information that you were looking for. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. The next question coming in by email is to take a look at TWOU. So let's pull up that screen. This is for uh, Vicky, I believe. And so we've got that screen up on our charts out here. And um, I don't recall what the question was, maybe just to look at it. So right now, what we've got in this, in this instrument is today is confirming a buy the D point pattern. This, this way it looks like well let's just see if it really got all the way down there so let's just let's pull this curtain back just a tad let's draw on the a to b level visually it looked like it let's just see if my visual is accurate or not let's pull this a to b leg over to the c point boy stevie was way off base there not even close okay so we didn't we're not going with a uh, buy the d point pattern on a daily time frame what we're going with is hey price is gapped up that's nice and a price can remain above its oscillator and change line that's at 332 we're trading above that right now then what this should do further is rally even more and the next price target area would have to be the bottom of its daily profile and vic that's at about 384 you can get up to 395 395 is where a counter trend move to the downside would end so you've got that going for you. Just watch that oscillator and change on it. Price closes back below 332. We're actually at 331 right now. That's not, then it's not bullish at all. Um, and, and would say to me that price is likely to head lower. On a weekly time frame, you're below the bottom of its profile. Price is testing the oscillator and change line. No bottom pattern. Doesn't look great there. On a monthly time frame chart, you've got a brand new profile. That is a tempi that has formed out here, but price is below the bottom of that. That's at 432. I don't see anything that really looks that good when we take like a TWO out here. So I just be careful with that one, uh, Vic. I do hope that that helps you out. Alton, the exit that I get off of when I go down to Miami Beach, South Beach, at least that is, is once take a look at Palantir. PLTR is a ticker symbol. And if we take a look at Palantir, you've got an A to B equal CD to the downside out here. The B point of this would have been the trading day of August 11th. Volume there was 56 million shares. It was passed a few days ago with 91 million shares. So that's a big A to B equals CD to the downside. It looks like this. I'll draw on the A to B line out there. It formed, by the way, a road momentum indicator top. Now we'll take that to the C point. And that gets us all the way back towards its breakout level. And on a daily basis, the next breakout level is down at $9.46. On a weekly time frame, Palantir is consolidated. It's got a road momentum indicator top as well. So your savior here, if there is one, is going to be the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at 1423. I would venture to say if price closed below 1423, Alton, then 
Palantir is going to head lower, and 946 would be the area or the range that I would be looking at out there. This should do more than a one to one. A to B equals CD to the downside if it gets going. Again, watch the 1423 level. Your next request was to take a look at Cassava Sciences. S A B A is the ticker symbol there. As we take a look at Cassava Sciences, uh, yesterday this negated its TD nine count bottom pattern out there. Maybe it was negated the day before. But either way, it's negated and prices trading below red oscillator and change line. That is a bullish signal, or a bearish signal to us. It's suggesting lower price. We're below the daily oscillator and change line, below daily profiles. We're below weekly profiles. We're below the weekly oscillator and change line. But you are in bar number eight. This says on a weekly basis, cassava scientists could form a bottom between this week and two weeks from now. The monthly chart is in bar number eight. Maybe what cassava science is really going to do here, Alton, is go ahead and form a monthly TD9 count bottom, much like it did the last time it made a significant bottom. That was back here in July of 2022. So maybe it's best to be patient with SABA. Hope that that helped you out. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Mike in Florence, where it's a sweltering 98 degrees. It is late afternoon, early evening. Holy cow, and it's going to be 100, he says, later in the day. And Mike wants to take a look at Apple and Microsoft. So we got Apple up on our charts out here. What do we know about Apple? Apple negated a TD9 count top out here. Um, is there an A to B equals CD? There's probably not enough of a retracement for me to go ahead and do that. On a rally where resistance is at inside of Apple, Mike is at the 178.13 to 178.68 level. If Apple can clear its red oscillator and change line, that number is going to go up as a time as time as price moves higher and lower out there but use that as a reference if price can overcome that then that would suggest a move to 182.88 out there and that is an apple we look at the weekly time frame chart price got back tested actually closed just slightly below its weekly profile it did that yesterday uh, that did that last week and if it closes back below 175.31, we're above that right now. If it closes back below that, that's going to tell us that price should go target 170.42. If it gets below 170.42, which, by the way, Mike, that's the TD9 count breakout level. If price closes below that, that tells us about lower price. Another area of possible support. So you don't get no support on the daily time frame. The weekly's got it at 175.31 and 170.42. And the monthly level of support would be at 168.79. So that's what I see on a daily, weekly, and monthly time frame. Let's finish this off by taking a look at the 30-minute time frame. This is for Mike and Florence. And Mike, this had formed a TD9 count top that was immediately negated. This is telling us that on a short-term time frame, what Apple wants to do is trade higher. And I don't have any resistance points on the 30-minute time frame chart to provide you with that uh, data. Instead, I'd probably just uh, take a look at the bottom of that daily profile at that 178.13 level. So, Mike, stay cool over there in uh, Florence. When you get back from this break, we'll have Microsoft up. We're going to take a look at the XLE for Hector, the GDX for Hector, and Tesla. Someone wants to know, where is it going? Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so right now in the uh, markets, let me see, where is it that we are at? Where is Stevie at? Uh, we've got uh, mixed bags still. Dow's off 99, SP's down 2, NASDAQ's up 19. Uh, the other indices, uh, well, yeah, the other indices are trading to the uh, downside. We're taking a look at Microsoft out here right now. And uh, this is for uh, Mike and, uh, again, Mike and, uh, and uh, Florence, uh, Italy. And, jeez, uh, where is it? Sorry about that. I, here we go. So take a look at Microsoft, which right now is trading out at about 323.92. Mike, what it did this morning, I don't have a bottom pattern out here. What we do have in this nice rally that it's had is price running right into where the sellers are located, Mike, and that's up at the 324.92 level. Now, if buyers can overcome those guys, gals, close about 324.92, it's going to suggest to move higher. But that suggestion can be thwarted if that's a word, which it is, by the price point of 326.93. And 326.93 is the bottom of its weekly profile. We've had two consecutive closes below that. If this is only a counter trend move, Mike, that's where price finds resistance at 326.93. The monthly chart is trading above the top of its profile. It's trading above its green oscillator and change line. So it's not buying into this idea of, hey, I want to move lower out there. But the weekly is, uh, that's what it's suggesting to you and I right now. So what would I be watching? The rest of this week, I'd be watching that price point at 326.93. If you get above that, you're going to see a further rally, whether it's a daily bottom signal or not. Now, is that going to come to fruition at 11:43 in the afternoon morning on uh, August the uh, 22nd? Well, the answer here will be we'll we'll know that soon enough. Why? Because we have a 30-minute TD9 count bottom top that is, and that says if price begins trading above, closing above the high that came in at 10. That's up at 326.08. Microsoft will definitely head lower. In the meantime, what price should do is pull back and test support. And support is either its oscillator and change line at about 322.48 or the top of its daily profile at 322.77. So even though you've got a top, its signal here on a 30-minute basis is somewhat neutral because you've got the bullish side of price trading above a rising price oscillator above zero combined with price trading above the top of that uh, profile out there. So, Mike, I hope that helps you out. As always, thanks so much for taking the time to listen in. Let's go to our next request. This is coming from Hector, who's watched take a look at the XLE, and his question is, uh, where do we see any signals that suggest that it's time to unload? 
I don't have any kind of a top on a daily time frame. What we have is a consolidation with Insider's profile that ranges from 86.48 to 90 bucks even Steven. On a weekly basis, we just have price struggling at the, where the sellers are at the top of that profile, 89.14. Price above a green oscillator and change line. I don't see any signal there. The monthly time frame. Price is trading with inside its bearish structure and area of its profile. That's between 85.91 to 94.71. But price above that green oscillator and change line. I don't see anything bearish there. So is it time to unload the XLE? I don't see it in the charts here, Hector and Patty. So I hope that that helps you out. I know with regard to the GDX, you're looking at the exact opposite side. And what you'd like to do is you'd like to back up the truck. So if we're going to back up the truck here, we need to find some kind of a bottoming pattern. Well, we've got that. We've got a uh, bullish hammer that formed yesterday, yesterday, and that would complete a buy the D point pattern out there. And you have a new profile. That new profile has support down at the 2751 level. And at 2845, you've got the top of the profile. So the, both the bottom and the center at the same level, 2751. Hector and Patty, that is a strong level of support. If you go ahead and back up the uh, truck as you want to do out there, do not let price close below yesterday's hammer candle. Why? Because the saying is, or the expression is, if you're long, you're wrong. So that low out there is 2728. And the reason you want to make sure that you do that is because on a weekly time frame, we've got a negated TD9 count bottom. And we may even have a confirmed A to B equal CD to the downside the swing point which was back in june of 2023 did volume of 101 million shares last week you were down with 80 so you're down below that swing point you still have the a to b equal cd pattern that is in effect out here let's get rid of the a to b equal cd to the upside because that's old news out there we're not interested in old news so the real issue that the gdx has it does not have what we call a confirmed by volume a to b equal cd but that doesn't mean that it can't fulfill that pattern out there so that's why we want to watch uh, the uh, daily time frame chart. If this is a bottom, then we will see price take out and close above 28.45. On a monthly time frame, price is back inside its profile and is suggesting to you and I may want to make a run for 23.53 to 25.54. But to answer your question, was yesterday a bottom signal? If that was your question, the answer there is absolutely. Now, what you want to see out here is more than just your typical two-day knee-jerk reaction, two to three-day knee-jerk reaction to bounce out here, which a GDX typically does. It's usually a two to three-day move. And today being day number two out there, I would expect tomorrow might be day number three as well as price targets at 2810 area. The next question inside the Tiger's Den was a take a look at Tesla. This from Dizzle. And Dizzle's been long since uh, about um, $93. And this is trading at 237 So Dizzle, your question is, where is this going? What I have out here is I have a completed Gertley buy pattern. And we got that yesterday when price gapped up. In fact, what this created was a, was a, uh, um, an island reversal bottom out there, as well as a three river morning star pattern. So you got all the bullishness with regard to pattern completion. What we don't have is price being able to take out its first level of resistance. And the first level of resistance, 237 and change out there. If price can overcome that, then the next level of resistance on a daily time frame, Dizzle is going to be 243.91. That's the level you want to see price close above. If price close above 243.91, this is likely off to the three, 266. 47 area on a weekly time frame you don't want to see price close back below the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile that means on friday at the close you want to see a close above 231.93 what happens if you don't geez if you don't well it's not a guarantee that we get to 164.35 but it's telling you what its intentions are and the only way those intentions come to fruition is if price takes out the low of this three river morning star pattern of this island bottom reversal pattern inside of a Tesla. And that would be a close below 212.36. So I hope that helps you out uh, with regard to Dizzle, where Tesla is going and what it's doing. Jimmy in the Tigers then wants to take a look at ticker symbol ENVX. As we pull these charts up, we can see that on a daily time frame, price right now is trading below its TD9 count breakout area. I would say that this is an area to watch like a hawk. That's at 1371. Why are we going to watch like a hawk? Well, first, two days ago, yesterday at least, you got a brand new profile that formed above price. That tells us about overhead supply. That's bad news. Well, if you if a key level of support can't hold 1371, 
which is trading below right now, that tells us about lower price. And lower price to where? Well, you know, Stevie would normally go to the weekly chart, but price closed below the weekly bottom of its profile last week. Oh, it didn't. It held it. It held it. We're trading below it right now. And if we do close below 1387, odds favor ENVX getting back to 1159. Jimmy, that is the weekly TD Nikeout breakout level. So no bottom pattern on the daily. In fact, it negated its bottom pattern. On a monthly time frame, price is trading into possible support between 916 and 12 and change out there. That uh, change is going to be 1297. So it looks to me like ENVX does look like to me this thing wants to head lower. Jimmy, I hope that helps you out, and uh, best of luck. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Looks like we're going to take a look at um, looks like we're going to take a look at Nvidia for John inside the Tiger's Den. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, all the U.S. indices now trading to the downside, uh, the exception being the NASDAQ composite of 27 points. We're looking at the charts here for NVIDIA. This is actually the annual chart for NVIDIA. And uh, you can see it's very bullish, very bullish because, well, one, we're trading above last year's high. You know, if you want to do anything that's kind of simple, you like to play breakout moves, things of that sort, you know, you start seeing instruments. So you do this in the, uh, well, any time of the year, but certainly the beginning of the year, when you start trading above the prior year's side, that's a bullish signal. But what uh, the, the point that I really wanted to make out here is that uh, this is going to complete a TD9 count top. 
this year. And the question from John was, how important was the spike higher this morning inside of NVIDIA? Well, that spike higher in NVIDIA, what it did, John, on the intraday time periods, that being the 15, the 30, and the 65 minute, it triggered TD9 count tops. Now, what price is doing, if we take a look at each of these time frames, on a 15-minute basis, price right now is testing the 460.11 area. That's a breakout area of support. Uh, continued close below that will bring 451.79 into play. TD9 count top on a 30-minute basis. Price is testing profile support. It's been testing it for the last two hours. That profile support level is 459.53. A close below that and 452.53 is the setup. On a 65-minute time frame chart, 455 and change, and 450.15 are its levels of support. A close below 450.15 uh, is going to suggest to you and I lower price. On a daily time frame, which is probably what you were aiming for, how important was that? Well, all it did so far was it tested it to actually do it. Yeah, did it spike above that high? Um, 480.88, the high so far today is 481.35. Volume is 32 million shares versus when that swing form was 77. John, NVIDIA is pushing into that swing point with volume. And if it's able to close inside that swing point, meaning above 450.60 today, odds favor, price makes another run at least for that high. Is there any other daily topping pattern or signal to have out here? No, but price is moving into a swing point with volume. You typically see price get back to try to tag that level. So I hope that helped answer your question. Folks, thanks so much for all the requests out there. Thanks for joining us on Terrific Tuesday. I hope you'll do the same thing on Wonderful Wednesday, but stay tuned for all the great programming, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.